Hello friends, it's Agnes from Just That Perfect Piece. Are you ready to craft with me again? Let's put some cardboard to work and create this rustic birdhouse. Of course, we need to figure out first the shape of the birdhouse. And you know me, I do not know how to draw, but I will try my best to create some sort of a, a birdhouse right on my cardboard to make our life easier when we are cutting it out. I think I have no choice since some of my cardboard is simply bended on the side. So <clears throat> I have to make sure that my uh, birdhouse has a nice chubby um, shape to it. And of course, I do want to follow the corrugated lines because I do want them to be exposed when all is cut. I am happy with the shape of it. Now it's time to do more work on um, our cardboard. We need to strip the top layer off. It may be tricky at some point, but I've noticed that if I am going to make this slightly wet, not really soaking wet, but slightly wet, everything comes up really nicely. But even if the pieces are left on it, it's still okay. I actually do like that rustic rook to it. As you can see is my little baby scissors are really helpful to break that um, top layer in some areas and it's actually look how look how nice it all comes up all without no problem in the big pieces really like the way it looks already so all what I need to do is here add a little bit um, of my uh, chalk paint and I'm going to be happy with this I do not want to really saturate my whole cardboard just a bit It seems like my paper towels are not doing a great job, so I am going to introduce my sponge brush and simply add a little bit more. And of course, use my uh, paper towel to just simply, uh, you know, distribute it all around. I think I am all satisfied with it right now and it's time to create a little nest, right? Um, so I would like to use a brown paper, smoosh it all around, create that little scoop and hot glue it right to the bottom of my birdhouse. Let's not forget about our floor in the nest. We don't want our birdie to fall off. And it seems like everything would have been fine, but uh, I do want to add a little bit more of a dimension. I do not want my birdhouse to be too flat, especially we are dealing with the uh, cardboard. So I decided to cut um, a strips and the size of um, the sides and the roof line of my birdhouse and simply attach them to the back of it, just so it has a little bit more of a dimension. Now 
it's time to bring the big guns, our branches. Don't you love just about those natural elements? I love them. So I just simply broke them in half and look at this, how lucky I was. They actually fitting uh, perfectly. So I am going to just hot glue them on the crisscross right to the top of my uh, cardboard birdhouse and I think I'm done. And of course, I was so occupied with everything that I forgot to glue the, um, my boards, my little pieces on the back of my roof line, just so it looks all uniform, even on the back. <laughs> There are so many ways that you can create um, the little um, opening for the birdhouse to actually pretend one that they can go in. I have the little piece of the wood that I will most likely for now use it until I find a better option. But in the meantime, I would like to simply add a little bit of the Spanish moss to my brown paper to create the authentic look of the nest. And then of course, as I am at it, I'm going to make a couple of the mini eggs out of the book pages and color them a bit with the uh, acrylic paint that I have on hand. details here and there and the birdhouse is looking better of course right and now let's just go to those eggs that I was mentioning earlier so as I've I mentioned earlier I do like to make them out of the book pages so all what I do is just simply you know smoosh them and roll them all around in a sort of a shape of an egg and dip my finger into a match patch and then um, simply wipe it all off and keep um, rolling it until I do have the shape of the egg and that's all what's to it. This super fun process it is messy but it's super fun and of course because I did not have the colors um, handy I had to make them all by myself but I am almost done see I do have three eggs now so I think I need to decorate a little bit because my house looks a little bit bare I'm going to bring even bigger twigs now I'm going to bring my little tiny branches um, and put them right on the side and maybe as the seasons go I'll be simply decorating with different things flowers or um, the ones that have a bud. but for now we are leaving them at that I am actually very pleased with this project even though it wasn't planned out and I did not really have a big vision about it but it does look good so I in my eyes at least so I really hope that you did enjoy um, this project this quick very inexpensive fun um, birdhouse that you can make one for yourself and I know you will so of course let me just try out our little bird that we made out of the uh, the yarn I would want to see if this guy fits there perfectly And here he is, my chunky bird out of yarn that I made. If you are curious how I made that, you just need to go to my YouTube channel and all the directions are there. It's 
because this project was completed at the end of the winter now it's time to show you the upgraded version so now look at this i've added a little bit more of the flowers to it to make it look a little bit more springy i hope you enjoyed that project and i hope i inspired you to make one for yourself thanks for watching and i hope you are going to hit that follow button and subscribe to my channel thanks again bye